In this video, you will learn how to make a mitre joint. The mitre joint is used in the corners of frames and boxes, where the two perpendicular pieces are glued together by end grains beveled to 45 degrees. Since they have no mechanical strength, if the glue fails, so does the joint. The tools that you will need are a tri-square, a protractor, a pencil, a marking knife, a sliding bevel edge, a bevel edge chisel, a hammer, a crosscut saw, a block plane, a bench plane, two clamps, and a vise. The materials you will need are a workpiece, scrap wood, a rectangular board, sawdust, and adhesive. Step 1. Marking the mitre. Set a sliding bevel edge to 45 degrees using a protractor. You can also use a mitre square. Place the sliding bevel edge at the point along the edge where you would like to make the cut. Use a marking knife to mark the line of the cut and highlight the mark with a pencil. Use a tri-square to extend the line to the adjacent sides of the workpiece. Step 2. Cutting. Fix the piece on the vise with a 45 degree line facing up and start sawing along the line using a crosscut saw. Fix the first piece on the vise with a beveled edge parallel to the workbench. Use the sliding bevel edge to check if the cut was made at the right angle. Use a block plane to make sure the beveled surface is smooth, flat and consistent. Fix the second piece on the vise and follow the same steps to finish the beveled edge. Place the pieces together on the workbench and use a tri-square to ensure that they join at a right angle. Now that you have two pieces with mitered ends that meet at a right angle, you can continue to gluing them together. For the remaining steps, continue watching How to Make Mitre Joint Part 2.